I tried to say as much as I could in that speech that this was a, a, a problem, an ongoing problem that I was watching along with everybody else. And then I uh, had an opportunity, uh, saw a technology that was was not really developed, but had a seed of an idea that, that we thought, uh, I think I think the original machine I, that I ever saw was a very little one. It was about separating radiation. So I'm, I knew I wasn't going to hang around that stuff, but I knew I was going to be around oil spill. And I thought, wonder if we can't, we can separate something that fine. Why, why couldn't we do oil and water? And so that's how it started. Talk to us about, you know, cause this city, this area has been hit with Katrina. It's been, it seems like disaster after disaster. Can you give us a sense of the emotions that go through your mind when you see Louisiana facing another natural disaster in a way? Well, the, the people are here are tough, and they've been tough for a long time. You don't live down here without having a measure of toughness, and people make a lot of their living from the land and from the ocean. And uh, so the ocean giveth and it taketh away. We know it's power. We, we've seen the evidence of that. But sometimes the man-made things are things that, that, that confuse us more than anything. We think, why? And just the person who's just trying to make a living out there going to work every day, they can't solve this problem, and they're wondering why the why the big boys, why science, why money, why why all the, you know, they can't understand. Well, okay, it happened, accidents do, we all get that, and they're going to continue to happen. But what are we going to do about them? And my frustration has always been that it's been a boom and straw and people in rubber boots. And so this, this, is, a, this is a machine that, that stops that process and moves us into a proactive way to actually pick up the resource instead of just trying to surround it. BP has been flooded with ideas and they've gone through it a number of, 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 uh, on their own. I guess how important do you think it is kind of this entrepreneurial spirit that we're seeing from a lot of people in this country trying to suggest ideas to BP, obviously you, you being one yourself, how important is it for people to kind of step up and try to kind of be part of the solution? Well, I think it, it has to do with your personality, it has to do with, you know, in a way your financial situation. I mean, a lot of people are just trying to take care of their families. It's not so easy. And, and you know, I don't, I don't know why I was, you know, I've been really lucky in my life and very blessed and uh, had money when I never thought I would have any. And, so when you have some, you think, well, what do I want to do with it? Do I want to grow, make my pile get bigger, or do I want to try to do something? And you know, half of me wants to make my pile get bigger, and and, and the other half says, is there something I can do? And and uh, we all make decisions about what we want to be a part of. And and so, you know, look at I'm just one person uh, I, focusing on a specific problem and throwing real resources and a lot of talent, manpower, hours at it and uh, come up with I, what I think is a, a, a solve. I know it's a solve, but it's just, it's now what other people want to do. What do you think this will mean for the coast if BP signs up? Well, I think what it means is is not only does the, does the, uh, does the problem begin to be handled in a proactive way, rather than defense, we're going to start to play offense and we're going to go start to get the oil. The other thing is that it, this lesson has to move us into a proactive business model where perhaps these machines that are being deployed now to go out and take care of a, a crisis are actually at the point of where these things occur, whether they're on oil derricks or whether they're on the ships that travel the world and go, come into our ports. We know that accidents are going to happen and so the same reason we would have lifeboats on a, a large ship, a tourist ship or something, the same reason we would have a fire extinguisher, it's been legislated, right? There's a law, so you got to have that. Got to have that. You're gonna have this many passengers. You gotta have, you gotta have uh, life preservers, right? If you don't, there's somebody's gonna, they're gonna pay a fine. They're gonna pay a penalty. It's against the law. And I think if you do your business on the ocean, if you're extracting oil, if you're, if you know it's, uh, th th you have to get your own life savers, so to speak, your own lifeboats. And what are those? In this instance. It's an it's it's the equipment that we've developed, and I I absolutely believe that. And um, I continue to refine this along with partners. I continue to move it to where the water gets clear and clear. But as a first line of defense, it's here, it's now, it's ready, and it's been ready for a while.